Well, howdy diddly dandy there, Charms the Die, Gavin of the Steeps. <laughs> and today, Charms, we are back inside of the cursed Expedizione. And yes, we're on the final phase. The final phase! Phase 5. I guess, people in the view of us. Good, so let's jump into this, shall we? Let's continue on. Right, so we've got to discover two ancient ruins. Hokey pokey. Well, that could be a fun one. Okay, well, let's um, fly on out then. Have we been given any navigational data? Any navigational data? Yes, we've got 21 navigational datas. All right, cool, yeah. We'll hopefully be able to pick up some cartography charts from the actual station. I'll see you in the station, people. The chums. Now, Mr. Kettle on the weekend missions has told me that he's been trying to find a relic site for ages, and he can't do it. Um, it says that using the signal booster, like the actual mission brief tells you to do, doesn't actually work. Um, it doesn't actually find anything. So it seems to be a bug. So I jumped online, I was taking a look for some videos, and I came across a video by Craze Gaming. And Craze Gaming actually said the same thing. It seems to be bugged. And he suggested buying cartography charts from this little agent here. So you buy a specific charts. There we go. And the one that you want is the alien plant chart map. Okay. And you want to get yourself a, a good couple of them. Now we've got 20 odds, so I'm just going to buy 10. Yeah, I would buy 10, but it looks like my my inventory is full. So I'm just going to go sell a load of stuff, then I'll go buy 10. Okay, 10 maps brotticated. Right, so let's go into here and let's pop those maps. Now, it's only really going to give you one of each of the map types. So I might as well pop that one. I bought that one by accident. There you go. But anyway, I'm going to go back into here. Where's my other maps? There they are. Ancient artifact detected. Now that could be what I'm after. So let's go on down and let's have a look see. Zoom. It's only going to give you one of each type, so don't go and pop all your maps. Just in case. Righto. So now I want to go over there. I guess. We're on our way! Ancient ruin! And it says ancient ruin on screen. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, the, this is the sort of ancient ruin you want. You don't want the one that's buried under the ground with the treasure chest. You want this one that's got like the ball on it that you can interacticate with. Okay, so there we go. Let's head on down here. Lovely jubbly. Now, if you do find a colossal archive and you go to the map printing chart machine there, it would give you the location of one of these as well. So, all good. All right, so here we go. We've arrived. Let's see if this actually counts as one then. Lovely jubbly. It doesn't matter which option you choose. I'm going to have language. There we go. Sweet. There we go. It's gone up by one. Lovely. If you want to interact with the knowledge stones, you can. It's not really worth doing. Righto. So we've done that one. But look, it says here to deploy a signal booster. So let's just give it a go anyway. And let's see if it actually works or not. Locate nearby structure. Nearby structure already marked. Okay. Hmm. I guess it's finding this one then. Over and over again. Yeah. Okay, right. Well, yeah, that doesn't seem to work. It doesn't find anything. So here we go. Let's go back into here and let's use another chart. Let's see if we can find another ruin. Ancient monolith. No. Don't want an ancient monolith. No, thank you. Try again. Hopefully it's not going to find the site that I'm right next to. Alien artifact detected. No, that'd be a plaque. That'd be a plaque. Keep going. Here we go. Come on, fingers crossed. Find another ruin. Alien artifact detected. Heck yes. Don't be the one I'm standing on. Okay, cool. Brilliant. There's one over there. Sweet. So we're going to be going there. Sweet. And let's take to the skies and let's fly on over. Up a chow! And away I go. Might as well fly on up through the atmosphere. Zoom. Flying round. 
Lock on on. And like ah. Sweet. So I think this is the one that was really causing people issues, mainly because the signal booster seems to be a little bit buggy. Very hit and miss. It only finds things if, it, if you like within like a thousand use of it, which you're going to see it on your rigging scanner anyway. So it defeats the point. Is what I'm being told in my comments, and from other sources, and from Mr. Kettle, as mentioned earlier. But yeah, Slutamondo Craze Gaming that came up with this method. Very cool. Okay, we've arrived, Decated. Chikabow! Interact to Mondo. And done. Lovely jubbly. We can now collect stone ghosts. Sweet! Okay, I don't know why I keep getting given Gia's side. Okay, lovely. Right, what's this? We've got to kill another 30-odd squid creatures. All right, well, what else? We've got to get a shed load of nanites. Fun times. Enter into the final portal. Okay, right. Well, let's, uh, let's start by annihilating a load of helpless, defenseless little squiddy creatures. I mean, they're not all that defenseless, to be fair. They've done me a fair bit of damage, to be honest, at times. Right. Well, I've got to wait for that bar to go down, so that could take a little while, people. So I'll reconvene in a bit once I start the murdication. What a weird planet! Look at these things! What are you? I don't think I've come across these before in my adventures. What a cool planet! Yeah. Very unusual terrain and biome, this one. What, what sort of biome is it? Solarium, okay. Phosphorus, oh, nice. Very cool! Alright, well, that's the first time I've seen any sort of foliage that looks like this on the planet. So maybe these got added in inside of uh, Worlds Part 1 and I just haven't stumbled across them. But to be honest, I don't land on many phosphorus planets, so neither here nor there. Anyway, I digress. Okay, well they've started to appear. And at the moment, they don't fight back. So this is kind of the point that I like them, because they're kind of easy. Pow! Come on! And they just spawn in the same place. They really are easy pickings to start out with. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello. And goodbye. I love the popping noises they make. Is that is that bad? <laughs> I wonder if I can blow them up with, with grenades. I can! No, no, didn't quite kill it, did it? No. Took a grenade to the face and just carried on floating around. Ah, unfazed, mate, unfazed. Oh, you've done 500 damage, that grenade shot. Plasma is not very good against plasma. Who would have thunk it, eh? Who would have thunk it? They take a full freaking clip. Reload them and load, load. I'm going to run out of ammo at this rate, aren't I? You know? Right. Let's see if we can do two clips on them. No, not quite. There we go. Sweet. Well, they're still not fighting back at the moment. Luckily, the bar's going down really slowly on this planet, which is nice. see an energy bar on them so it's hard to know when to stop firing kind of got to be a bit, a bit more conservative with the bullets but I think you get the point I'm just gonna keep shooting these little kits until I hit the quota okay now they're fighting back and I'm getting two spawn at the same time Yes, take this. Ciao. Oh, got three there. Ah. 
frickin' heck! That, <laughs> they really are grenade immune! Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, call ya! Come on, take me to your leader! No, no, I haven't seen a boss one of these yet, you know? I could have swore in the trailer that there was a boss one. They look bigger than all the ones that I'm fighting anyway. These could look quite small compared to what I saw in the trailer. Okay, done. Yeah, get out of the box view. I want to I wanna eat one of these canisters so they, they're no longer angry at me. There you go. Right, oh, um, ship. Where's my ship? Oh, it's over yonder hill. And we might as well pop that badge. Boom. There we go. Oh, we've got some ribbon fireworks. We'll set those off when we complete the final phase, I suppose. 25 biological samples. All right, fair enough. Now, what it hasn't given me is much that I can sell for nanites. And you see there, I've got, I've got a load of nanites that I need to actually bag. Now, what I am thinking is I could do some fishing. I mean, we're by water right now. I could stick some stuff on the line, do a little bit of fishing, and let some fish go, couldn't I? Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, why not? That could be a good way to do it. Yeah, so here we go. Let's put some bait on. Lovely, lovely bait. What shall we stick on? I will fish with a little bit of chromatic metal. I do. All right, cool. I'll do a little bit of fishing, catch a couple of fish, let the fish go, and get myself some nanites. I think I've still got it on easy catch, so auto catch mode. To do that, you just go into options, you go into difficulty, you scroll down to fishing, and you just put it on auto catch. That goes. There you go. I can just leave the joypad alone. Look, no hands, no hands. Come on! It's like a mobile game now. Lovely. Sweet! Up a chow. There we go. And just uh, do that for a little while. I mean, I don't know how many fish I'm going to have to catch. Do that, to be honest. I mean, um, my purple bar's going down quite rapidly. As soon as those things start attacking me, I'll pop another one of those purple canisters. But other than that, that that's all there is to this. I'll probably catch, what, ten fish? And then see if that pops the quota. You know what I could do while I've got this going? But, you know, a lot of you guys out there in the viewerverse might not have this to you. I've got some tainted metal I could put in my personal refiner. Refine. Um, but, yeah, let's just take that out for a second. And let's put the rod back in there. Up a chow. Let's have a look. Is there any other things I could put in here? Do I have any runaway mould? I do have this living slime. We'll put the living slime in. The living slime will turn to runaway mould, and then the runaway mould will also turn into nanites. Hopefully you've been gifted this, because I've been given li living slime, so hopefully you guys have, okay? Let's just let's just have a look how much I get for releasing these fish. Alright, so we release him. How many nanites did I get? 18 nanites? Oh, I'm going to be here for freaking years! How many nanites did that get me? 48. All right, that's not so bad. What about the blue one? Okay, that's 126. All right. It, it's not that much, is it? I'm not getting that many nanites. All right. Well, uh, carry on. Well, all right. That, that purple bar is going down rather rapidly now. So you know what? I'm just going to release this one last fish that I just caught. There we are. Done. Now, I have got a couple of modules on me that I could sell up in the station, so we go do that. So we go up to the old station, zoom, and we'll see what we can sell to bag myself some nanites as well. Alright, okay, so let's head on up to the Stazione. Zoom around here. I've got a couple of modules, so lock on on, I'll see you in the station. Well, holy fudge, people, I didn't realise just how much living slime I've got. Look at this. It's taking ages. It's going to take 38 minutes to process all of that. That's insane. All right, well, let's just stop it. Let's just take the living slime out for a second. And let's see how much runaway mould turns into nanites. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad, is it? What am I getting? Five to one. So five to one, I should get about 50 on nanites for that little bundle, shouldn't I? 52 nanites. There we go. Not too bad. But if I did that whole freaking stack of 8,000, which can take me half an hour, that would do the freaking trick, I think, people. That would probably get me over that nanite threshold. you just got to put up with that freaking sound the whole time. 
That's kind of annoying, isn't it? But maybe you could do this ambiently while doing something else, you know? But anyway, let's see what I can sell and let me see if I can get over the threshold another way that isn't as boring as that. All right, okay, let's head on over here then. Let's see if we can sell some modules. All right, let's uh, head on up to any of the vendors upstairs. Zoom. Hello, chap. Yes, I'm here to sell you some modules. So you go in, you have to hit purchase. There is no sell option. But then you get the sell option up here. Hit that. I can sell the underwater ones. There we go. That gets me 900. Uh, Pre-packaged, impact, and... Okay. I'm only going to get 480 for that, but I'm going to do it anyway. And Sentinel Weapon Shards. We'll sell those as well. Has that done it? It has. There you go, people. But what I would suggest to you people inside the Viewerverse is uh, process all of that living slime into runaway mold, and then the runaway mold into nanites, and hopefully you're going to get it done that way. Sweet! We've got a new a new recipe for the blood. All right, fine. Okay, and I can actually make this. Now, people in the Viewerverse have been hitting me up and saying the elixir of blood doesn't work for me. Don't drink it. Do not drink the elixir of blood. Just leave it here in your inventory. Do not consume it. Just keep it there. And then when you go to the actual portal, it you slaver it. You sort of smear it on the actual um, portal. You don't drink it. It does it automatically. Why does it keep making water sound effects when I jump? Is that my jetpack that's doing that? I think it is. Weird. All right, anyway, I digress. Let's go into here and let's pop this in, Quicksilver. That should find me the last of the portals. The fly on out. The boundary calls. Where are you, boundary? Oh, great. I've got a freaking shed ton of icons that look the same. Luckily, it's the one that's lit up like a Christmas tree. And we're on our way there. Because. Okay, well, we're flying down. Look at all these comms bots. And let's go read the messages of the verse. Oh, well, we've arrived at Coded. Ah, face against the rock and let's head on in congratulations sweet you've arrived at your destination like a sat nav there you go cool so here you go i haven't drunk it and when you go through these first opening salvos of text it says there about the blood offer blood do not consume it okay i dorp some of the elixir the blood across the plinth this world is an illusion. The boundary is an illusion. Discord and harmony, crimson and glass, it's all the same, and it's melting. Open gateway. I see a vision, a red star, a fragile world. I do not understand the shapes within, the whispers, the seeds of glass. I see life forms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxy. I see a stranger's first breath, yearning for the stars. I see myself slumbering in the void, waiting for a dream of worlds. Sweet. Okay, right. Oh, lovely job, eh? And we're heading into this health and safety hazard. Cool. Away I go. Zoom. Now, people, I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed this expedition. I will be hitting this up on my PlayStation D4, doing a best tips guide, because there's a lot of tips to be had from this and putting together my best tips. And uh, then I'm probably going to do a review of this. Not before I've hit it up in freaking VR, though, because I think that's going to be pretty darn freaking epic, seeing these sort of like jellyfish and the yes. weird effects inside of VR. imagine it's going to be pretty trippy. So I'll be probably doing a VR video as well if I can get it all set back up again, which is cool. Anyway, this takes a while. So and if, if you've got that while, hit the like and subscribe buttons and all that sort of shenanigans. Lovely jubbly, I guess. Right, so we reconvene. And my bar is back up to full, which is great. You made it! I did indeed, he duty. Right, okay, well, let's pick this one up. Chicka pow! Right, eh? Entered the final portal. I have indeed. Lovely. Locate the void of glass. Boundary failure. And the measurements keep freaking changing there, don't they? Alright. Alrighty, well you can see my screen over on the left 
by those bars is plus 22 plus 138. I'm right by it. I'm right near it. Okay, right. So. And now I'm looking above my head. You can see plus 22. So. It's somewhere near here. Ah, there we go. It's over there. I, I want to tag that freaking thing. It's 24 minutes that way, so it's not as close as what I thought it was. All right. But hopefully we can still see that marker when I'm up in my ship. Because it's not hugely far, but it's further than I would like to walk on foot. There we go. Ah, sweet. I thought I might have to find it manually, you know. It's only over here. What a cool planet to end off on as well, with all these floating sort of plants and stuff. Pretty darn epic. Right, well, it's 20 seconds this way. I'll reconvene in a moment. Okay, well, that says approximate location. So, I'm going to go to the nearest comms ball, maybe. Um, there's a lot of bases around here. Let's just hit where this comms ball is. And I imagine it's... No, there's just a base here. That's a bit off-putting. All right, well, there's bases freaking everywhere around here right now. Interesting stuff. Right, well, let's try and land then. Let's do this on foot. There must be something around here for all these bases to be here. Okay, this way. Alrighty, -o. zoom. And away I go. Okay, around here. There's a traveler's grave. That must be it. There we are. I kind of wish there was a way inside of Expeditions to maybe remove all bases, all comms balls, just to be able to see a little bit better. Well, here we go. You found me! Well, how do? Um, ask who they are. I have been, because we have been here the whole time. Yes, that doesn't answer my question though, mate, does it? You know, a simple, oh, I'm Craig. Or something. That'll do. I am them. They are me. You are one of us too. Cuckoo, cuckoo. You are me and we are you and we are all together. Very beetly. We all sing together. Just did that, mate. Freaking just did that. Every voice in a different chord of the same music. Boom, boom, bada, boom, boom, shoop. The boundaries melt. The singularity is coming. Ask what they mean. You know where we have been, even if you cannot remember it. The Atlas knows where we have been, even if it cannot see it. It will not forgive our excursion. What, into the world of glass? Because I should have not drunk the water. Right. And now we've got the elixir of water. We've got the Atlantium all needed to create the Atlantium of water. And we're probably going to end up drinking this aren't we there we go right we'll collect that then sweet the elixir of water plans yes we've made the stuff as well we've made it i haven't drunk it okay what's next defeat the boundary guardian do not drink the water. Use the elixir of water. Oh no. Oh no. Here we go, people. I think this is where we fight the boss that I was on about. Sweet, yep. Yeah. Oh, the fishing rod is not going to cut it. Alright, here we go. Take this, guardian of evil. Hey, ah. Sweet. You know what? I think this might be the jellyfish boss that that bomber boy managed to uncover. And if it is, that means it's not a deep sea underwater boss. It is, as you can see, a planetary expedition boss. I wonder if, if I bring the elixir of water back with me after completing this, I wonder if I can fight this boss anytime I like, even in normal game. Oh, that's that's something to try, isn't it? Oh, hello, guys. 
budge in that. There's a whole load of them. Oh look, my boundary, my boundary thing has gone completely. There we are. Let's just keep hammering this, and hopefully, and uh, take him out. Come on! Boom. Grenade in the face! Grenades do no damage whatsoever to these guys. We got him! Right. Let's um let's just pop the purple canisters quickly. So they leave me alone. There we go. And I think we're good. I think we can go into here, pop this badge. Lovely. Ow! What is it fudge? What did I do to you? Apart from kill your mother. Alright, okay, that fair point. That's um probably more than enough, to be fair, isn't it? Right, let's get out of here. Get away from those jellyfish vandals. Right. Are they still chasing me? They freaking are, mate. They're freaking having me. They're freaking after me, mate. Zoom. Let's go in this little base for now. I'm just hide in here. Right, let's um pop that then. Coolio, the haunted cursed decal plans and cursed banner customizations. Nice. Okay. Well, now we can actually complete this. But before I do, really, what I want to do is craft a load more of that elixir of water. I'm going to craft a whole freaking ton of them. There you go. I go for thirty. Ooh, I go for twenty-seven. There we go. We've got a load to take back with me. We'll give that a go in another episode. Right. So let's go back out of here and uh, expedition. Oh, sweet! Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have that and accept. Yeah, there we go. Where is my ship? Oh no, the thruster charges are out. All right, where is it then? It's over here. Oh. Look at that! We've got an awesome ship! Heck yes, we do! Holy moly! Well, you know what? I think this is firework time, isn't it? Heck yes! Alright, let's lift off a load of fireworks. Oh, because there's a base freaking here! Of course! Alright, yeah. Right, well, let's take off. Let's go somewhere else. Ah, yeah! Let's just get away from all these bases. Zoom! I still want it to be night time though. I think we're far enough away from bases now. Let's just park here. Yeah, land. Damn your land. Land! Oh, it's freaking clear! Oh. It keeps going to night time to daytime. I think that's because of the reality glitches, isn't it? There we go. Let me let off my fireworks in peace. Right? There we go. It's not the best of fireworks displays, considering it's not night time. It's night time when it feels like being night time, but that's that's still pretty cool, isn't it? There we go, people. We completed the expedition. Fireworks and all. Thank you very much, people, for watching. This has been freaking awesome, hasn't it? I guess. Shall we let's see if we can break into some dance, shall we? Have I got dance? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Boom. There you go, now it's sort of night time. Yeah, that's better! Heck yeah! Brilliant! Eh? Lovely jubbly. We even got some squids coming to dance. Nice! Oh, don't you throw those disco balls at me, my friend! Thank no! Missed! Haha! <laughs> I missed both my legs. Right, here we go. And let's have a better look at this shifty ship. Let's take to the skies. Zoom! And away we go! Oh, I love the cockpit. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is going to be this is going to look freaking awesome in VR, isn't it? All right, well, um, go into your camera mode. Heck yes. Look at that. That's my new ship. I'll be flying around in this for a while. This is only on my PC save. I'll be running the uh, weekend mission with the lads today, and I won't have the ship because there's no way I'm going to do PlayStation 4 in a day. Well, before we get to. You know, run the weekend mission that is right anyway i'm just gonna fly up to the old nexus boom 
And I think the next episode, people, is going to be ending off and what I'm going to take back into game. And then I'm also going to be trying those glass capsules. If I can take those water elixirs back and see if it actually works in game. So if I can fight that boss creature or whatever, that'd be quite cool. I'll see if I can do that. So yeah, next episode will be me actually ending the expedition at the expedition terminus. And yeah, that's that's it though. Got the ship. It looks freaking great, doesn't it? Got the ship, got the headpiece. Pretty darn awesome. We've even got the glow in the dark pet. Yeah, pretty darn good. Hope you've enjoyed this all that little playlist. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.